Hello, I'm Henry John Griffin, and I'm gonna tell you, I think it's gonna, I think I'm gonna have to go to school during coronavirus hours, because I don't want to stay home with my family, and you know why? I don't want to stay home with my family, because I just got hit really freaking bad. I got hit super duper hard and it wasn't even helping me now if i was a computer programmer i would be more smarter to develop apps and stuff i'm not going to don't worry i'm not going to stay home forever i'm going to go to school i'm going to go to school and i'm going to learn about the brain being a computer I'm going to learn about it. Like, I'm going to go to school and I'm going to... I'm going to be at school asking people... Asking people questions about rather if the brain is a computer. The brain is... Very, very similar to a computer. In the way that it... In the sense that it processes information... And takes in input... From our five senses. The human brain is like a computer. It's similar to a computer. Information is processed by our five senses. And we store information. So however, how could you take a belt and hit a computer? You wouldn't hit a computer with a belt. Now guess what? Remembered when I had that meltdown because it was over Andrea. However, now I don't got nothing to worry about and, and, I, and I never wanted, I, I just don't want to stay awake. And the only time I would enjoy the morning time is to get up and go to school. I don't care if it's coronavirus, I want to go to school even during coronavirus. I want to go to school during the pandemic. On Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, and Friday. I don't want to stay home. I don't want to live with my dad. I want to go to school and be at the Kessler Center forever and never graduate from the Kessler Center. I want to go to school and stay Stay at the Kessler Center forever and never graduate. I don't want to live at the. I don't want to live with my dad. I want to only live at the Kessler. I don't have to. I don't have to stay here. So hello guys, I'm Henry John Griffin. This is not a firewall. This is just something that keeps me from going to school. Now, basically. When I go to school, there will be people that will be nice to me, and they'll want to talk about the brain being a computer. And basically, I don't want to stay home forever, and I don't want to live here forever. Eventually, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get out of here and go to a program and live at the school. So, guys, right now. My dad has never, ever whooped my butt before. But today, I want to tell... Now, I really freaking hate getting spanked. And... However, if you're not going to talk to your child about the brain being a computer, well... I don't want to be on my phone 24 hours having to go into my gallery having to take off some, having to uninstall some applications and delete some files to free up space. Now, however, you got to be wrong to say that a computer is more powerful than the brain. And you are wrong. However, a computer... A computer is basically a machine. But... Having to go on my phone and free up space 
is a is a is a hazard where it's a waste of time and it makes me get in the red zone every time I'm recording because the storage capacity on the phone is not unlimited. It is not unlimited. It has a limit. This phone will run out of storage every single time I'm recording. So yes, that is wrong. If you say a computer is more powerful than the human brain, that is wrong. Because you say a computer is better than the brain, and that means it's wrong. A computer is just a computer. You're wrong for saying that you're you're you you're wrong for saying that a computer is better than the brain. Well, in the case if you're saying that, why do I have to always deal with my phone? running out of memory 24 hours and then I have to go inside the gallery to delete some stuff to free up space. Only, only the brain is more powerful than a computer. The brain is the brain is more powerful than a computer and it even works like a computer because you have to go because with the, with this computer you have to go on the gallery and you have to delete you have to delete all of the files. Sometimes you don't want to do it. You have to delete all the files to go to, to, to free up space. And I hate when I do. I hate when I have to go and, 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 and clear, out, clear out everything to free up space. And it's not good. I'm doing these videos because something really negative happened. I was not able, I was not able to get anybody's attention with people, with having people agree One, with me that the brain three, four, is like five, a computer, six, seven, however, well I could tell, I could tell you that much, the brain is like a computer, it takes in information from our five senses hey, and we hey, get input, so yes, that sort of makes it a computer. Now, it is true that the brain is very similar to a computer, processes information, and it's more, it's more faster than a computer, and it's more powerful than a computer. It runs a lot faster, and you can store unlimited, the brain also has unlimited storage capacity. Which it is more powerful than a computer, and it is 100 times faster, or 100 million times faster than the world's most powerful supercomputers. However, this is why, this is why I had had enough of getting spanked. It's because it's obvious that. Whenever I say, whenever I don't want to be, whenever I don't like being told to stay awake in the daytime and sleep during the nighttime, it means I can sleep any time I want. There is no, we don't have, we don't need to have sleeping put on a schedule and we don't need to only sleep during the nighttime, we sleep any time. If I choose not to sleep, that's okay. If I choose not to sleep, then I just choose not to sleep. If I choose, if I choose to sleep, then I choose to sleep. Leave it at that. If I don't like all of the hard schoolwork, that's not going to get into my long-term memory because it's very difficult to remember. Because it takes a lot of, Ooh, it takes boy. a lot of computing power. It takes a lot of computing power in the brain. To be able to process that information. It takes all sorts of computing power. Out of my brain. And that's why I don't use it for calculations. I use it for having fun. But. I. Can. I can sleep. In the daytime. When I'm at home. And I don't have school tomorrow. But when I'm at home. And I do have school tomorrow. Yes I do need to stay awake sometimes. To keep my brain active. But he has, he has, he has okay. I, I, when I don't have school, then I, can, then I can sleep anytime. But when I 
do have school, then I have to stay awake for the longest. I cannot stay awake for the longest. I have very much trouble trying to stay awake. Because usually, I don't pretty much think that it's appropriate for me to experience that situation where he is where he keeps continuously telling me to stay awake and I don't really want to stay awake. I don't really know how to keep my brain active and I don't want to take care of myself because I'm not into that. I'm only into computers. I'm in I'm not into liking having to take care of myself because I don't like taking care of myself. I, I, the, the only thing I might like is I might like, I might need to go to a nursing home if this is really bad. I said it. I cannot process that much information. You know my long-term memory may overload if it has a lot of information and stuff on it. I cannot process a lot of information. However, eventually there comes a time and a place where we do might have